Unit Eight, Part A, Activity Two A. Listen to the radio program, and one, write down the names of any animals that you didn't know. Two, decide which box, A, B, or C, contains which group of animals. Hello and welcome to the natural world. In today's program, we are going to talk about some animals that live in Southeast Asia. We are going to talk about three kinds of animal: insects, reptiles, and amphibians, and give some examples of them. So, to begin, let's talk about insects. Insects are small animals with six legs, and many of them can fly. They often come into the house, and many people are scared of them. One kind of insect is the beetle. Beetles can be quite big and fat for insects, and are often black, but they don't usually bite or hurt people. Cockroaches are a little similar to beetles and are also big, and many of them have wings and can fly. They come into our houses and they are dirty, so people don't like them and usually kill them. Another kind of insect is the butterfly. Butterflies have big wings that are pretty and colourful, and they are good for the flowers. Probably the most common kind of insect is the mosquito. Mosquitoes are very bad for people because they bite us all the time. They are also dangerous because they can make you very sick. There are also amphibians in Southeast Asia, such as frogs and toads. These animals can live on the land and in the water. Frogs are the most common kind of amphibian. They are green and wet. They eat insects and they move by jumping. People eat frogs. Toads are similar to frogs, but they are usually bigger. They are dry, and they are often grey. Finally, there are reptiles. Reptiles include crocodiles, turtles, snakes. And geckos. They can be very big or very small. Crocodiles are big and long. They live in the water, but they can go on the land. They have big teeth, and they are dangerous because they can eat people. Turtles are big and round with four legs. They can swim very well and live mostly in the sea, but they go onto the beach. To lay eggs, people usually like turtles. Snakes are very common in Southeast Asia too. Snakes are long and thin. They don't have legs and can be very dangerous if they bite you. The last animal for today is the gecko. Geckos are very common and often live in people's houses. They are small and green. And run up the walls. They don't hurt people and are good in the house because they eat mosquitoes and other insects. Unit Eight, Part B, Activity Two A. Listen to Casal talking to Tim about his homework and answer the questions. Hi Tim, listen. Can you help me with my biology homework? I have to write a short text about the life cycle of a beetle. We have this diagram, and I don't understand it. Okay, well, what don't you understand? Let's have a look. Well, stages mean the different parts of the beetle's life, and the life cycle means all the stages from birth to death, right? Yes, that's right. This. Isn't too difficult, Casal. It's just that the words are new. Look at the diagram. Which is the first stage in the beetle's life? 
Well, the first stage must be the egg. It's the smallest and it can't be an adult first and an egg later. So that must be the first one. Good. When you have a diagram like a circle, you have to find the first stage to start describing it. So what's next? Well, that's easy. There's an arrow on the diagram. After that, it's the lava stage. I don't know what that means. Well, it's just another stage when it changes from an egg into something different. When the baby insect is born from the egg, it isn't a beetle yet. That comes later. First, it's a larva. It looks completely different from a beetle. It's small and long, and it's hard to see the head or the legs. Okay, so first it's an egg, and next it's a larva. After that, it's a pupa. Does that pupa look like a big larva or a small beetle? Well, neither. The pupa is a stage where the larva makes itself into a little round ball. At this time, it can't move and it doesn't even eat. Inside the pupa, the larva slowly changes into a beetle. So first it's an egg and then it's a larva. After that, it changes into a pupa and finally it's an adult beetle. That's it. When the beetle has grown into an adult, it produces eggs and it all starts again. That's why it's called a cycle and the diagram looks like a circle. Okay, thanks. So if I know which is the first stage and I understand the new words like pupa and lover, it's easy. I feel much better now.